I'm gonna show you how to find the fuse in relay box. First thing you're gonna do is open up the door. The left side here, that's where you're gonna rest your left foot. You're gonna see this little car with the hood open on it. And underneath there, you're gonna pull forward. You'll hear a pop in the front. You're gonna open the hood, pull them down, slide to the left. And this opens right up. Now after you've opened the hood, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to the car. You're gonna look to the right here, you're gonna see the battery, and right behind the battery, that black box right there, that's the fuse and relay box. I'm gonna show you how to open that. So this is quite easy to open. There's actually a little tab you're gonna push here, and then there's one on the back side. You're just gonna take both of those. You're gonna pinch both of those, one with your thumb, and then one with your middle finger. Squeeze, lift up, and that will remove the cover to your fuse and relay box. Once you're here, you can see you have all your fuses and relays. If you're having an issue with, say, the interior lights or the blower motor, and you're not sure if it's the motor, if the motor's making a lot of noise when it's running, obviously it's the mo blower motor, but say it's just not working, or the interior lights all of a sudden aren't working, or your cigarette lighter's not working. Something along those lines. You can come up here and these are your fuses. You can always take a fuse that uh, is a non-needed component for running your vehicle and you can swap say this 20 amp fuse and this 20 amp fuse or this relay and this relay just to see if you can get those essential parts to work or the part that you're just trying to check. And then another nice feature is on the bottom of this cover there's actually a diagram for all the fuses and relays. So now when we go to put this cover back on, you'll see there's a little loop there in the back. We're actually gonna put that in the back. Come here to the front and you're gonna push down, make sure that that's seated, and then I'm gonna go around the back of that loop and make sure that that's in there tight. This actually doesn't seat as nice as the most fuse and relay boxes, but that's how you get it back on. Pull up, make sure it's tight, and you should be good to go.